Hello my soccer universe, welcome to the review of what happened in the Netherlands and in France. Uh, it's it's the video where I have four competitions, we actually saw a TV a little bit of everything, but I think it's again more of a big picture thing than to talk about individual games. Wearing uh, PSV who had two big wins this uh, week, but so did Ajax, so nothing really changed there. In France, yeah, <laughs> I think the greatest trend in France to me is that uh, come the 90th minute, or uh, st stoppage time, PSG scored the winner. Um, and yeah, PSG is more the Mbappé show. But I think the sneaky story is that Saint Etienne, who seemed to be dead and buried just a month ago, are making a huge comeback. And they actually might survive, which is a little bit exciting because then maybe I can add them here to my collection and we have some other nice color uh, back there. They are a very traditional French team, so I actually think Saint Etienne should be up there in any case. Okay, I will say let's get right in, 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 into it. I do expect it to be a shorter video, although we have four competitions to uh, talk about. The first one is, of course, the Dutch Cup. What a no-nonsense round. PSV over Breda, 4-0. Ajax over Vitesse, the replay of last season's final, maybe the one that could be tied, 5-0. And this was not the only time that Vitesse is gonna, uh, was going to get mauled uh, this week. Valweig, AZ, 4-0. No trouble whatsoever. It, it was just a crazy round. I mean, then only go ahead Eagles. With a 2-0 uh, win over uh, Bre uh, no, Nijmegen, not Breda, uh, is the only thing that had a little bit riding on, on, on them. But it's, yeah, it's kind of weird. We all already know the draw as well. Um, we have that uh, Ajax have to go to Alkmaar and PSV have to go to the go-ahead Eagles. So maybe, just maybe, there's a little bit uh, of excitement, but we are definitely headed for Ajax against PSV final, which admittedly is exciting. Um, but as I said, it was not the only 5-0. PSV visit Vitesse 5-0. I mean, this was, and I can tell you, I I still have only three Dutch teams and still it's only red and white ones. Uh, but I've looked at Vitesse as one of the good Dutch teams. It's not red and white. How they got mauled this week is just beyond me in many, 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 many ways. Uh, but also, you know, all the big players, AZ, 4-1 of a go-ahead Eagles. We have Feyenoord, 2 nil at Wolwijk. And I actually saw uh, at least the first 60 minutes of Ajax against Twente. It took Ajax a while, but it was also rather decisive, 5-0 over, over Twente. With Twente, I'm always amazed that Maybe is still around and they have really nice jerseys. Uh, to be honest, um, it was even not enough that Tadic missed the pen penalty. Class and Alea, uh, you know, the first two goal scorers, and Alea scored two, two, two more uh, together with an own goal by Prepa. So, yeah, uh, nothing new up top in the Eredivisie. So, I think we can almost go directly to France now. Maybe let's look at the next round, but even there is nothing really in interesting because all the three big three that are up there. Are playing relatively easy opponents, so uh, there could be a repeat of what was happening uh, this weekend. Not very exciting in many in in many ways, but you know, warming up for the European Comp competition. Maybe the Dutch teams can do some damage uh, there. Uh, so let's go to the French Cup. And believe it or not, the only thing I saw live was the penalty shootout between Bergerac and Versailles. And I loved every little minute of that. I saw the last few minutes of that uh, the game. It ended in a 1-1, um, uh, where Versailles had the lead and Bergerac then had the uh, could equalize uh, in the 89th. Versailles being a, a player down. Unfortunately, I scored. I joined after that at the game, but you know, with no overtime, it goes uh, straight into penal penalties. And there, Versailles proved to be the better team. I think they even uh, took uh, all. The, no, they were there. They were the second ones to shoot. So, so Bergerac took always the first shots. Um, I expect Versailles in, uh, in blue because if I look at what Bergerac is all also blue. So it makes kind of sense. But it was fun to see two fourth tier sides. Rather full stadium, I gotta say. Uh, so. I 
enjoyed the penalty shoot. I mean, again, there should be an app that warns you. There's a penalty shoot, and and, and, that, and that you can immediately watch it because I think that would be uh, the best thing ever to be alerted whenever penalty shoot. Penalty shooters are always in, in interesting. But we also had uh, Nice against Marseille. That that was the big one. We are an on goal in the third minute. Seemingly sent Marseille onto a good path, but Guiri and then uh, Justin Kluivert. Turned the game around before the half, but it was a rather even game um, that uh, we must say missed enough chances that could have made the, the, the game, you know, uh, go to halftime at 2 2 or so, and it was not out of sorts. But when Justin Clavert makes it 3 1, then the game tipped to its niece's favor, and then the law in the 61st makes, makes it a route, um, a game that was never really a route to be honest. Um, and then Nantes against Bastia and Monaco against Am 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 Amir, you know, expected wins mo moving on, and it's exactly those. Nantes against Monaco is the big name semi final, and Versailles against Nice, we have a fourth year side in there, is the other semi final. So Nice against uh, probably Monaco. I would say, but you know, I would love it if not could make it. So let's see where this is going. But the French Cup living a little bit up to this, you know, anything goes attitude that uh, people have uh, towards the cup competition. You know, the, the, the magic of the cup. I think it's very much alive in France at this moment. Um, going into the uh, Ligue 1, a Friday evening, PSG played early because, you know, we have to play Real Madrid, I think, already on Tuesday. Um, and PSG also move, uh, pulled out new uh, fourth churches, which, which are basically a, a white version of the home churches. I'm getting really annoyed that PSG... I do like their blue home churches. They're not PSG churches, but I do like them. And I would expect PSG to play in blue at home. But every time that I see PSG playing in Liga, they're playing either in their black churches or now they're playing in a white jersey. It just is a, it's annoying. It... it, it, it waters down for me the brand PSG should go for their navy blue in any case those jerseys looked admittedly nice PSG did not necessarily I and Ren played in their black jerseys from Puma yeah it, it was a side side to as well I think whenever white plays against black uh, this, it is also one of those matchups although it doesn't look as bad but I I, I I always find it a little a little bit bo a little bit boring because you know you could have played in the red and black against the white PSG shit even there's a little bit more interest there um PSG didn't look good and it's all about killing Mbappé Messi is not showing anything uh, uh of note however he assisted in the nine nine that made the winner for Mbappé uh and so yeah this is, uh, I, I, I think if matches will go over than five minutes before the end, PSG would be much, much closer to all the pack, but they win it late every single time. And now, of course, the big one is, uh, can they figure it out against a Real Madrid team that are also a little bit reeling, to be honest, and we'll talk more about them in the La Liga uh, review. So yeah, PSG off to a good start. Lille getting a pretty big win over Montpellier, I got to say. Lyon also pretty big win over Nice, who of course played in the Cup Cup Cup, cup run. So that I guess that played into their cards. Dembélé scoring a penalty and Toko Kambi then a goal. So those were big ones. I actually saw a little bit of Monaco against Lorient. It was not good. <laughs> it was it, it, it was horrible to watch. But again, Monaco just played in the cup round. So maybe this had played. Huge win for Brest over Troyes. As I said, Saint-Etienne with another win. 2-1 at Clermont foot. Lars puts Chirona in more trouble. We kind of were thinking slash hoping maybe that Bordeaux could not. Nothing, nothing I like that. And then Marseille also... Um, Riding Milik, who has been scoring for for, 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 for them as as well a few times, uh, getting an 82nd minute winner against Metz. So um, as I said in the in Ligue 1, up top it's pretty clear. Uh, Marseille even now favored to finish in second place and uh, prob and, and probably deservedly so. It's more or less who will get the third spot in the Champions League. I think that is a pretty open battle at, at, at the moment. I would say everyone until Lyon is in there. Uh, but I think the relegation is really, really, really interesting. Uh, because now Saint Saint-Étienne suddenly move out. They're not the last, they're, they're not the most likely team to be, get relegated. The moment is Bordeaux and Metz. Let's see, Trois is not through, Clermont Foot is dangerously falling a little bit, Lorient, Saint-Étienne, Saint 
it is really in 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 interesting what's happening there. So I think the, while the top is rather boring in Liga, I think everything below that uh, as a, a kind of a parity in 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 it that make may mix mix in it. I mean, we have definitely around six teams that that are at least threatened by relegation. We have around five, maybe six teams that could make it in, into this third spot. So that's exciting, I would say. Any case, please let me know what you thought about the happenings in the Netherlands and France this weekend. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day!